Join me and the Gilmore Girls for a chicken coop tour at Quamperdu Farm. Hi everybody, I'm Tracy. I thought I'd give you a tour of my chicken coop today. Let's head down. So here we have our chicken pen. Our chicken pen is uh, built on a concrete pad and we also have this heavy duty wire that uh, excludes any predators from being able to get in. Our actual coop is inside the pen and so we basically got our girls trained to come in at nighttime. and I'll just show you, they're free ranging right now. So we'll just call the girls. Here girls, chick chicks, come. Come on chick chicks. Come on chick chicks. These are our hens. So we have three blue egg layers, which are the Americanas. And we have also the barnyard mix, which basically lays a brown egg. So let's head inside the coop and I'll show you a few more features. Okay, so now we are inside the chicken pen area. This is Suki. Uh, we're using a grandpa feeder, which is just a fantastic feeder. It's a treadle feeder. So when the hen steps on the, um, the treadle area, it flips the lid up and then they can go in and have something to eat. And when they step off, it closes. So over here we have uh, the water and why I like this one is first of all it's heated in the winter time I can just plug it in the base is heated and it also is a nipple feeder so it all again keeps the water cleaner and uh, it's a little bit insulated so in the summertime it stays a little better and obviously in the winter time it stays warm and here's Emily she's going to show us how that works so again the hens just go and they peck at that and when they do that they get a little drink of water hey Emily you want to show them how it works come here Emily come here come here come here there she just got a drink of water all right we're going to collect the eggs so our egg collection area is right over here and we just lift up the lid. Oh, and there's Emily. She's laying her eggs. And we have two blue ones. And two brown. So dust bathing for the chickens is really important. Um, it's basically their way of keeping clean. It deters um, lice, mites, other parasites, and adding the wood ash um, to that mixture really helps. Uh, it's great for chickens to be able to dust bath all year round, which again is why in this covered pen, they're able to use this dust bath even in the winter time. So now I'm just going to show you where I plug in. So this is called a thermal cube. And what this does is it comes on at a certain temperature. So rather than having to come out here in the evening or at night, if, it's, if the temperatures are dropping, the thermal cube automatically comes on um, at I think below minus two. Um, that's in Celsius. So that uh, the, both the heater and the poultry drinker will come on. omelet uh, automatic chicken coop door. This, you can get a better look from the inside here is how we set this up. And just to the left, you'll see a um, the light. And what that does is it comes on automatically as dusk approaches. And having the light inside the coop 
um, draws the chickens in. So they're, they come in at an appropriate time to roost. Okay, so here we are. This is the inside of the coop. Um, so let's just to show you how this works here. We've got the nest boxes at the back and there we have, oh, there's Paris. Emily's looks like she's waiting. So we have five nest boxes. Uh, we have six hens. We probably could have more hens in this coop, but I think six is our maximum for eggs. So um, now this coop, the reason I like it is because of these, first of all, the wire on the bottom so that the poop can come through and also keeps it much cleaner when they're sitting on the roost bars at nighttime. The roost bars I treat with neem oil. So basically they, they're untreated plywood, or sorry, plywood, they're untreated two by fours, which I have then painted with neem oil. So neem oil, as you may know, is great for um, mites. So particularly the, the roost mites, or the perch mites, and we haven't had any problems with that this year, um, especially in these hot, dry conditions, which, you know, often can create good conditions for mites to thrive. So, yeah, so that's the inside of our coop. Up here, we've got this beautiful heater, which is an infrared heater. Um, the reason I like it is it's completely sealed. And so it also doesn't heat the whole coop. It just heats the bird. And what I'll do is I'll provide you guys a link so that you can see where we got this So our chicken coop was um, is an uh, Amish design uh, that we ordered quite a few years ago. And again, I like the idea of having it up off the ground. Um, oh, there's Misty. You can't come in here. No, you can't. So what we did do is we um, retrofitted it with a um, automatic door. And this door is actually like, Fantastic. I'm just going to show you how it works here. So the brand is Omelette and you can either have it um, open and close automatically by daylight or by time of day. So I have it set up for time of day and at any point if you need to close it, you can still go ahead and do that simply by pushing the button. So closing three, two, one. And there we go. That's our door closing. So this works really well. I have it set on the inside of the coop because if I needed an extra layer of protection, should I be getting any large predators, then I can actually close this small wooden door as well. So here we have two more of our hens. These are our blue egg layers. And um, and this one can't decide if she wants to go out or not. Anyway, I'm just going to show you uh, the base that we have in the chicken coop pen. So we did pour concrete. We had a, a large mouse problem here. And as you know, mice basically um, bring disease in. So we try to keep it as clean as possible and don't have any attractants for any kind of rodents, mice or rats. Uh, either with spilled feed or treats. Um, we also clean up the droppings in here. It's easy to rake and also the sand dries out the droppings so that they don't attract as many flies either. So it's quite a clean option. Um, yeah. here I also have a little feeder for oyster shell and as everyone probably knows oyster shell is important because the hens need the calcium to make their shells hard enough. Thank you for joining me, Emily, Lorelai, Rory, Paris, Suki and Lane for our chicken coop tour. We hope you enjoyed it.